Hello kids, if you are sick and tired of learning mathematics subject, do not be worried because Teacher JC will help you with your problem. In the previous video, I talked about classification of triangles according to its sides. And if you haven't seen that video, you'll find the link in the description box below. And for that, I prepared five questions. All you need to do is you need to identify if it is equilateral, isosceles, or scaling. Okay? Example number one. Number one, it is equilateral because all sides are congruent. For number two, the answer is very good. It is scaling because all sides are not congruent. And for number three, the answer is isosceles because two sides are congruent. It's the same thing with number four. Number four, it is an example of isosceles triangle because two sides are congruent. For number five, what's the answer? Very good. It's very vivid that it is an example of equilateral because all sides are congruent. And for our last number, it is an example of scaling. Why? Because all sides have different measurement or length or there is no congruent sides. Okay? Once again, these are cl the classification of triangles according to its sides. We have equilateral, isosceles, and scaling. And for today's lesson, still it's all about triangles. And we will identify its classification according to its angles. Are you excited? Let's start. As an introduction of today's topic, we will discuss first the different types of angles. It is very significant that you have an idea or knowledge about angles so that it will be easy for you to identify the classification of triangles according to its angles. It means it is a prerequisite topic to our lesson of the day. Let's begin. Our first type of angle is what we call acute angle. The second one is right angle. And our third angle is what we call obtuse angle. And the image below is an instrument to measure the degree of an angle is what we call protractor. Going back to our first angle, acute angle measures less than 90 degree. Looking at your protractor here, it could be 80 degree, 70, so on and so forth, as long as it is less than 90 degree. It could be facing to your right or facing to your left. Is it clear? Good. The next one is what we called right angle. Right angle measures exact 90 degree. And if you observed, or it would be easy for you to identify that it is a right angle because it looks like a letter. And it is a letter L. Okay, just remember, it is a right angle if it looks like a letter L and it measures exact 90 degree. And for our third angle is what we call obtuse angle. Obtuse angle measures greater than 90 degree and less than 180 degree. Now, again, look at the protractor. So if it is 
if 90 degree can be found here so greater than 90 it can be 100 down to 170 it can be facing to your left or facing to your right why is it not 180 degree because 180 can be found here and 0 can be found here or 180 can be found here and 0 can be found here what have you observed exactly it becomes a straight line again obtuse angle greater than 90 degree and less than 180 degree and for the right angle exact 90 degree and for the acute angle less than 90 degree so angles can be facing to your right or facing to your left let's continue these are the classification of triangles according to its angles let's begin with the first one acute triangle acute triangle contains three acute angles acute angles measure less than 90 degree so here we have acute angle on the top another acute angle and on the right another acute angle a triangle contains three acute angles is what we call acute triangle the next one is what we call right triangle right triangle contains one right angle I told you earlier that it would be easy for you to identify that it is a right angle because it looks like a letter L and aside from that it would be easy for you to identify that it is a right triangle because it contains this mark as an indicator that it is or it measures 90 degree and it is a right angle and aside from that right triangle contains two acute angle so in our example it can be found here and here and our last classification of triangle is what we call obtuse triangle obtuse triangle contains one obtuse angle and which can be found on the top and two acute angles can be found here left and right once again these are the three classifications of triangles according to its angles we have acute triangle right triangle and obtuse triangle this time let's answer example number two looking at this image or this figure kindly identify if it is acute triangle right triangle or obtuse triangle and if your answer is acute triangle then you are correct number two classify the triangle based on its angles so this is your image and you need to identify is it acute triangle right triangle or obtuse triangle very good it is an example of acute triangle for our next problem for number five is it acute triangle right triangle or obtuse triangle very good it is an obtuse triangle obtuse angle can be found on the top left is an acute angle and the same thing on the right it is an acute angle and for number six and if your answer is acute triangle then you are correct so all angles are acute one two and three for seven and eight let's begin with number seven 
it is a right triangle because you will see this mark as an indicator that the angle here measures 90 degree so it is a right angle and it is a right triangle is it clear and for our number eight it is very good acute triangle so acute triangle contains three acute angles one two and three okay and for our last problem is it a key triangle or a right triangle or what about a juice triangle very good it is an example of a right triangle because you will see this mark as an indicator that this angle measures 90 degree so it is a right angle and it is an example of a right triangle okay let me repeat these are the three classification of triangles according to its angles we have acute triangle right triangle and obtuse triangle and that concludes our lesson for today if you have questions, clarifications, feel free to write that one in the comment section box below. And I will try my best to answer all your concerns. Thank you for watching. Once again, this is your teacher, JC, signing off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.